Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you again from Dead Pit Radio. Today we have a brand new release from the fine folks over at Grindhouse Releasing. This is a company that doesn't release a lot, but when they do, it's kind of a big deal. And this is one that they had announced a few months back. A lot of people were very, very excited about this movie. From filmmaker William Graffay, this one is close to being a lost movie. I know that not too many people have seen this movie up until this brand new Blu-ray release from Grindhouse starring the esteemed William Shatner 1974 Grindhouse classic Impulse which was painstakingly restored from a 35 millimeter print the original source material was thought to be lost or destroyed many years ago this is an older movie 1974 it's a movie that i had never seen before and had rarely ever heard anybody even mention this movie now a few months back the fine folks over at arrow video did a william graffay box set that was pretty extensive we actually did a review on that as well which you want to go back and and check out william graffay did a lot of very low budgets cult and horror movies from the 60s and 70s on up I think he's still making movies actually he's like 93 years old something like that and still involved in production of the film so it's pretty amazing highly respected filmmaker for sure and it's cool that they gave this one the deluxe treatment now I know that there are a lot of fans of William Shatner as well that may want to check this out huh, we'll talk about that here in a little bit but this is a deluxe two disc Blu-ray edition from Grindhouse Releasing. It is absolutely stacked. We're gonna talk about the special features and everything, all the innards within this package here. But more importantly, we're gonna be very impulsive and talk about the movie. 1974's Impulse, directed by William Griffey, starring William Shatner as the smooth-talking, leisure-suit-wearing Matt Stone. No, not to be confused with the guy from South Park, who as a child killed his mother's drunken boyfriend with a fucking sword. Anyway, fast forward to modern day. Matt's new M.O. is conning rich women out of their fortune and then murdering them, right? He can't control this murderous rage. The newest lady that he's dating, however, has a very young, inquisitive daughter that kind of catches on to Matt's murderous and untrustworthy ways. All the while, Matt thinks he's got it made, smoking his little cigar, styling and profiling down the Florida beaches in those 70s polyester outfits. But the uncontrollable rage becomes too much, of course. And you'll have to see what happens after that. It's a hilarious performance from William Shatner. Now, 1974 era William Shatner, he had been doing a large string of B movies, uh, a lot of drive-in movies and stuff like that. Um, so his career was kind of in the dumps at this point in time. I don't know if this is a movie that he's very proud of today. I don't think he, he probably doesn't give a shit. You know, it's fine. Um, but this is a weird movie, man. I mean, it's kind of interesting to see. Definitely uh, recommend for a watch, Impulse. But honestly, for me, like I've never been a huge William Shatner fan. A lot of people seem to get a kick out of William Shatner and his whole shtick and everything. Um, I never did. I'm not a Star Trek fan. I never really cared for much of his genre stuff. Um, this one is pretty good, though. Of all the ones that I've seen with Shatner, you know, this one's kind of interesting. Now, does this live up to all the hype that it's been getting lately? I don't think so. I mean, it's the way it's filmed and everything is kind of different. It almost looks like it, it's almost filmed like an episode of the Brady Bunch or whatever. Um, so that it's of that time frame, right? 1974. The performances in it are pretty hilariously bad. 
Uh, it's very cheesy. Um, the music, the wardrobe, everything like that. But technicalities aside, man, this is a very well-made movie for William Griffey. A lot of the stuff that I watched in the Arrow set didn't look nearly this good. The transfer on this thing from Grindhouse Releasing is fantastic. They took this from a 35mm print, cleaned it up really good and everything. And I would have not known... It wasn't from like an original camera negative. It looks that good. Just a great job there with the restoration on what they, you know, what they had available. Grindhouse releasing is among the very best at that. Will it live up to the hype for you guys? I don't know. It didn't really live up to me. I enjoyed it, but yeah, I mean the the way Grindhouse was hyping this thing up, man. I just thought, I was like, oh my God, what is this? And Steve, our good buddy Captain B Plan, was really putting this one over as well. Eh, I gotta say, maybe my expectations were way too high here. I still had fun with it. Um, it's still an interesting little drive-in B-movie sort of deal. But Grindhouse, man, we're gonna talk about this edition here. Look at the spot gloss cover there, right? Thick, fancy slip cover here. Um, loaded up with special features and everything. We're going to talk about the special features here in just a second. But this edition here will take it out. You have the same artwork on the inside case. However, there is a reversible cover, which I think has the original poster art on it, or one of the original poster arts. There you go. And this is a two disc edition, the movie on one disc and a absolute fuck ton of extras on disc two. We'll try to get to some of that uh, here in just a little bit. I'll tell you guys what all's on there. Inside you have like a William Shatner postcard there with some newly commissioned artwork. And inside here you've got a little booklet that talks about the making of the movie. There's also poster art and all that good stuff thrown in there talking about you know some of the other Bill Griffey movies so with all that aside all the technicalities the packaging the spot gloss goodness the extra features on this thing is pretty outstanding let's go through them guys I'll try to go through them as quick as possible there is a lot included in this is a haunting alternative French soundtrack there is two bonus feature films from Bill Griffey, The Devil Sisters from 1966, 90-minute movie, and The Godmothers from 1973, another 90-minute movie. So you get three different Bill Griffey movies in this set. Hours of Rare Cinematic Treasures from the Vaults of William Griffey. There's an audio commentary with William Griffey. The Kingdom of Shatner, a William Shatner Live in Santa Monica session from October the 9th, 2022. Additional interviews with the producer and makeup artist Doug Holbert and art director Roger Carlton Sherman. Uh, provocative in-depth interviews with director William Griffey and tons of hidden you remember easter eggs anybody out there remember back in the day i think anchor bay entertainment was one of the big companies that did that but a lot of mainstream studios did that as well there are hidden special features in this that you have to find i'm not going to tell you where they're at but i think that's pretty badass that grindhouse releasing is kind of still doing that so impulse came out this week it is out now grindhouserelasing.com they always do a fantastic job in anything that they do very anxious to see that new 4k edition of the beyond when it comes out man that is a day one purchase for me so guys this one is out now high recommendation here to check it out three movies in this three different movies hours upon hours of special features as well impulse is out now check it out be sure to check us out we're over at deadpit.com give us the thumbs up Off you butt. like subscribe and if you subscribe here's something else you can do once you subscribe you can click the bell notification right 
and it'll notify you anytime that dead pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a fuck. No I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, Utah. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Simply the best horror shirts. On T Public, there are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills Have Eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're gonna love them. Shop.deadpit.com. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1. We ain't-